Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Scholar Tech Studio. Let's start another lecture on EDEM software. In this video, we will discuss the user interface of EDEM which consisted on different icons and three simulation components. Okay, the first one is uh, creator, the second one is simulator and the third one is analyst. So these three simulation component are the major part of uh, uh, this user interface. Okay, so first we will go to file. So under the file option, you can say there is a option is open. So you can open an existing EDM database that you already have created or someone has sent to you. And the next one is new. So by using this one, you can create a new database or new model. Similarly, there is the option of save, then it will save the your uh, database in the default directory and save as option will allow you to save uh, your model in any specific place. Similarly, there is the option of uh, geometry transform. So this can be used like we can transform a geometry and can save and that we can use in our uh, other modeling database so here is a option of import export and there is option of creator simulator and analyst and these three options we can say are available here and here you can say also there is a shortcut key if you will press alt plus f1 then creator will be open and if you will select alt f2 then simulator will be open and similarly if you will select alt plus f3 then analyst will be open from here you can close your uh, software okay so next option is tool so under the tool option so uh, the first one is related to coupling like uh, edem software will also allow us to coupling with other software like answers and abacus and recurtine coupling so we can use the first option when we will do the coupling that we will learn in our uh, upcoming video so this is the beginner level uh, video so we are just uh, describing different options but in our upcoming videos so we will learn how to use these similarly there is a data browser and there is a display option so under the display option uh, you can say the first one is the default view projection so there are two view projection one is prospective and other is orthographic so we can use uh, that we want and next is the background color so here you can see that the color is background and here you can select let's suppose you want to make a light gray and then go to ok now you can see that the background color of our window is changed ok similarly we go to option so you can specify any color that you want but I like white color so I select this one ok but there is another option there is an other option ok you can put uh, any logo of your company or any picture uh, in this uh, interface ok if you want to put your picture or any logo of your company or anything you can insert in the back side let me show you how we can do this go to the tool and then we have to select user logo from here we have to select the picture where is my picture maybe on desktop yeah I select this picture okay so here you can uh, change the scaling width margin and from here scaling height okay so set as a foreground or background and then said okay let's go and select okay so now you can see that my picture is placed at the bottom but you can see that uh, one thing is not present here because our modeling is not showing so we have go back to the tool option 
so we will select background and then we will press ok then we will press ok so now you can see that our uh, design shape or our design model uh, is present so in this way you can put any picture or you uh, you can remove this option go to tool and then go to option and you just need to use this one option now it's in default position okay so the and other important thing in the under the option is uh, uh, mouse configuration so here you can see that these are uh, camera action or we can say navigation tool so uh, we can use these tool the first one is pan we will discuss this later so here you can see that it's the key like the left mouse button is when you want to use the pan command so you have to use the left mouse key similarly if you want to track then you have to use the left mouse key plus shift and similarly if you want to zoom so zoom uh, at the middle mouse button okay so we don't select any other so we just with the help of uh, center button we can uh, zoom zoom box middle mouse button with shift so these are different you can change and you can put these command as you like okay so these are different options that can be used uh, okay so the next is next option is units that is very important so here we can see that there is option so we we are going to deal with different uh, physical properties or uh, uh, different types of um, uh, vectors or scalar quantities so you can see that all the units are here so we just need to let's suppose the unit of acceleration we want to use millimeter per second similarly angle we can use degree or radian so we just need to change and then we get, need to select ok so now our units are changed uh, okay okay so this this is you can see that this is the creator this is basically a tree of the creator model okay so we, as we said that there are three different model and if uh, now we are in creator so we can find the creator tree here when we will go to uh, we have to save this one let's save so now you can see that this is the uh, simulator tree and similarly from here you can see that this is the uh, analyst tree so this window from the le left side of uh, uh, our interface is called a tree so this tree the appearance of this tree and the component of this tree will change when we will move to other uh, simulator component okay so and this this area is called the window view here we can see uh, our virtual model of uh, uh, virtual model of our uh, bulk material and our equipment in this way at the bottom you can see there is a data browser so here we, we will get the information of different uh, properties or uh, different simulation steps okay and uh, these are the we can say different tools that we can use and we will uh, learn one by one all these tools and here you can see that there is also uh, some tools of creator and simulator so if we we can configure these tools let's suppose i want to put at the top so we just need to here we can see that different dots so we have to drag from here and place where we want so let's suppose I put it here similarly I want to put at this place so it's up to you how you can um, how you want to make your uh, uh, user interface outlook okay so in this way you can change if you want to bring back so you just need to uh, select this and then you can specify any place okay so we can also put at the bottom at this place or at the right place so it's up to you in this way you can change this one so these uh, this is the major uh, we can say the main user interface 
uh, of uh, EDEM okay so the next option is uh, uh, we can say that uh, display so here we can say we can convert this our display into single display that is already a single display but we can make it two three four or different uh, windows so that we can uh, see our different components in the simulation and the next option is help so if you want to learn about EDM so here is the option of help if you want to learn EDM online so you can get some uh, help from here if you click here so here you can see that here are some documents that will help you to learn the EDM software so this is all about the uh, we can say uh, user interface okay if you like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon so that you can the you can get the notification of our upcoming videos so in next video we will explain uh, some other basics of uh, edem software